Greetings family. There are so many new and exciting things going on here at the Mount that you don't want to miss. For more information or to register, please go to the vestibule and stop by the guest services desk today. I'm godly excited that the play The Forgotten Song is coming to the city of Birmingham, Alabama, where we have had the opportunity to be exposed to a drama that addresses and deals with the hardcore issues that many citizens of our community is facing here in the western part of Birmingham. We're excited to be a part, to have this opportunity to present it to our parishioners as well as the surrounding community. Get your tickets today for only $25. Child care will be offered. Go to the guest service desk in the vestibule after service to purchase your tickets. My name is Dario Guerrero. My name is Sudesh Naviswas. My name is Jay Mbiro, and I was not born free. We didn't have anything growing up. My dad was nowhere to be seen. In the house, we'd come in, and there's nothing to eat. There's nothing to drink. I grew up in a dysfunctional family, broken family. My dad was absent. My dad left. He left when I was eight years old. He packed his tools, his stuff, and he, he says, I'm not going to come back. My mom said, we are the oldest in the family. Have to man up and be the man of the house. We had to look for a job. I was about eight years old. My grandmother, she was detected of a kidney failure. So in order to provide her with all the medical needs, we had to sell everything. We had to sell our house. and. We were on the streets. We started to beg for food and money. I started stealing and snatching things from people. And after some time, I was arrested. I would tell her kids playing soccer, hey, daddy, you can't play soccer. I was like, you know, I can, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, no, because I'm working tomorrow. I, don't. I remember a guy and I said, hey, I'm just tired, I want to go home. Well, if you want to pay you for the whole month, you have to work until I tell you. What if I don't want to work? You pay me home the days I worked, no. So I have no way out. There were times when I asked my mom, why do others wear fancy clothes and why don't we wear fancy clothes? She just kept quiet and her eyes were red, but then she tried to stop her tears. I understood what poverty is. I felt trapped. I was sure that my future would be slums. The moment I entered prison, I felt like I came to hell. That's when I decided to kneel down. And I remember praying to God, if you are there, if you exist, please take me out of prison. And the most importantly, take me out of poverty. I got out of prison, but I went back to Madare. But by God's grace, that's when Compassion International came in. My dad took me to this project. And the first thing was somebody was standing there with a smiling face. I had not seen a smiling face for a long time. The pastor invited myself, my sister, and a bunch of other kids to come to church. And he told us about compassion. 
in the program they would give us food they would teach us the word of god and I wrote a letter to my first sponsor although it's somebody that I've never met they knew that I can be somebody and they also told me something that I had not heard from my family they told me that they love me we got new uniforms and new shoes and a backpack i never had anything new in my life new it smelled good it was new it was clean the shoes were amazing i was so proud i started looking at myself as somebody who is actually going to end up to be somebody and i felt like i was free all of a sudden free from poverty from hunger from prison free to live free to dream and i have a new life in christ and i have joy and peace and everything possible in christ my name is sudesh nabaswas my name is jay biro my name is dario guerrero and i am free i'm free i am free The F5 Summit is coming to Mount Zion, May 12th through the 14th. Join Summit host Overseer Moore with Pastor Ricardo Miller and Pastor Thomas Beavers as we focus on the family unit and the youth for three days of faith, family, and fun. We pray you have been impacted by the message and the people of Mount Zion on today. On behalf of Overseer Moore, we thank you for worshiping with us. 2016 is your year of love and prosperity.